Um, I sell surgical instruments to uh, OBGYNs. Uh, and I'm a family therapist. Well, I'm, uh, my name is Wayne Maxson. I'm a gynecologist and a reproductive endocrinologist. Hi, I'm Jody. And I'm Jeff. This is Riley, and he was born May 6, 2008 at 8.58, and was 8 pounds, 5 ounces, 21 inches long, and very healthy. First, what does BUMP stand for? BUMPS is an acronym that stands for Bringing You Maternal Paternal Success, and we're a national nonprofit organization that assists couples who face difficulty conceiving uh, have the ability to afford fertility treatments. The success rates have gotten better and better and better, fortunately. Um, this year, for example, in our program, um, we this is not deliveries, but just ongoing pregnancies, clinical pregnancies, and under 35 group, we have a 50% you know, clinical pregnancy rate. Our donor egg recipients, we're actually still at 80%, which is the best we've ever done. Um, and even in our 41 and 42 year olds, we're getting a 20%. We were fortunate enough to be successful on our first IVF try. And um, we have a four and a half year old girl. We'll start crying, so you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, the outcome has changed our lives remarkably. I mean, we just, I can't imagine not having the uh, opportunity to be a mom and um, to raise our daughter and see her laughing and have her hugging us. and. Um, it's just, um, it's just an awesome, it's just an awesome gift that, um, we feel blessed. Yes. That's all we can say. Um, all together, um, it took us to go through the IUI and the IVF about a year. Um, the IUIs, that was obviously a few months. Um, and then it, I would say probably that ended up in February, and then from then on, we started with like the medication, um, and then we were we did the IVF, and we're lucky enough to become pregnant. And the complication rate is less than one tenth of one percent. Um, so this is now probably safer than driving to the office to have the procedure. IVF is an expensive process. The, the reason starts with the technology and the equipment that you have to get together. You need an operating room, you need anesthesia equipment, you need a recovery room, you need a laboratory, which is very sophisticated. Um, you know, nowadays to put together a laboratory could cost between minimum $300,000 to very easily a million dollars put together an IVF laboratory. The cost factor in going through this, obviously it was a commitment that we wanted to make. Um, it doesn't make it any easier uh, withdrawing from your, your, uh, your investments and taking away vacations, um, making a choice of having to give up some things. Yeah, I think that in terms of the, the monetary aspect, it was something that we definitely had to consider and think about. Um, Obviously, we would have been much happier if it's something that our insurance paid for. Um, but in the end of the day, I think it was something that we knew we wanted to do and something we wanted to spend the money on, and um, it didn't have that big of an impact on our overall decision. You know, it seems unfair that um, this is a decision that you have to decide whether you can afford to bring forth a child when that should be your God-given right. I don't know that anyone is really prepared. Um, we have not had any family members um, with infertility issues. Um, I've had a friend, she actually recommended uh, Dr. Ori to us, IVF Florida. Um, but no, unfortunately we were, we were not prepared for this. You keep it amongst your very inner circle and your closest friends and family know what you're going through um, because you do feel a little ashamed or not normal that it's not happening like uh, as easy for us as it is for other people and other friends who, you know, have three kids and don't want any more and have two more kids. Especially you know? because there's a certain, uh, for me anyway, a, a certain level of 
shame around the fact that you can't get pregnant and it seems like it's such a private thing. Um, but if you open up to other people, you find out there's so many other people out there who can appreciate what you're going through. One of the recent controversies with the octuplets um, on the West Coast is how could that possibly happen? Um, there are standards published that list the number of embryos that should be put back at various age groups. Um, the younger the patient, the fewer the embryos you can put back. The older the patient, the lower the pregnancy rates, the more embryos you might put back. And we try, try to follow those standards very, very closely. You have an event coming up that you're going to try, this is a relatively new organization, you're going to try to raise some money. It's coming up, what, on the 28th? Yes, 28th of February in Plantation, and we also have one coming up on April 21st in New York City. Now, your group does not provide the treatment, is that correct? Just the money? We provide, we, di we distribute grants to the fertility treatment, to the fertility center, and, uh, and we provide for the actual treatment. And what typically are the uh, various treatments that we're talking about here? We're talking specifically about in vitro fertilization and for those of you who are unaware of what in vitro fertilization is, it's where a woman's egg and a man's sperm are fertilized outside of her body and then transferred back into her uterus for implantation. Why did you form this organization? Uh, I, my journey towards bumps came from a very personal place. My husband and I uh, were dealing with infertility for two and a half years. We tried to get pregnant and we underwent several insemination cycles and two in vitro fertilization cycles. Uh, in between the first and the second cycle, I started researching the topic and trying to find an organization out there that helps women who are less fortunate, who cannot otherwise afford the treatments. And much to my surprise, I realized that no such organization exists that gives clean grants with no strings attached for fertility treatments. Um, and so therefore, I decided to put my career on hold at the time. I was a practicing attorney, and I decided to dedicate my life to, uh, to this cause and this foundation. And how, how's, it, how's it been so far? Uh, how successful have you been? So far, it's been great. Um, we launched our website in October, and since then, we were featured in the Miami Herald on two occasions. We were invited by Marie Claire to join their national Give and Get charity campaign, and we partnered up with IVF Florida Reproductive Associates, which is one of the leading fertility centers in South Florida. Lior, thank you so much for thank joining you. us, and good luck with your upcoming fundraisers. Thank you very much. If you'd like more information on bumps, there's the number 954-472-2867.